Hey guys, Megan with another YouTube video, and today we're going to be taking a look at a requested video from someone who commented on YouTube. Um, I personally have no idea how this is work. It's going to work. Uh, I've never done something like this before, but I'm going to try. If it fails, whatever. If it works, I'm glad. Um, the person who asked for the video is this man right here, Wolfpack Bricks. He asked for me to make a video about how to use and set up LDD to Pavre. Uh, he couldn't get it to work, and uh, I went ahead and I screen recorded me um, doing everything that we needed to do to get it set up, uh, and then I uploaded it to Google Docs, and then it is here um, so that we can play it on this computer. And I'm going to watch it right here with you guys. Um, I. I don't know if I gave myself enough time to uh, narrate over what's going on. Uh, in this video, I just kind of screen recorded me doing what needs to be done to get this all up and running, and then just kind of hope that I'd be able to comment comment over it and uh, get everything to work. Um, hopefully it works, and I don't even know if this converting is a good thing or a bad thing, but I, I guess it might be, it might not be, I have no earthly idea. I guess while we're waiting on this we can watch uh, guns scroll by in the background. Yes. Uh, the G36, MG36, this is the AK-12 M4 upper receiver build. L96. Seriously, go away. Barrett M107 Mark II, I believe. I don't know. Uh, Beretta 23R from Black Ops 2. FN Herstel Ballista. The AN94 Mark III with AK-12 styled furniture. The RW1 once more. FN Herstel SSR Mark 20, I believe. Alright, uh, let's go full screen with this. And then hit play. Uh, quality is bad. Frame rate's pretty bad. All right, so the first thing that you're going to go, one and going to do, is to go to this website. This is ldd2pavre.ldtools.com. Um, this is where you're going to download LDD to Pavre itself. Um, to find the download, it's going to be on this website page. Once you get to this website page, you're going to go up here to the bar right up here, and you're going to want to click on download, like I'm about to. Um, once you hit download, it's going to bring you to this page. You're going to select either the 32 or 64 bit. I don't remember exactly which one I did. Um, if you're on Windows, use the exe file. Um, for the zip package, it basically just downloads one big file and then, uh, you know, what am I doing? Whoa, I skipped way far ahead. Uh, all right, so this is, let me just uh, find my place again. Alright, so this is the second website that you want to go to. The first one was uh, what we just talked about there. This is www.pavre.org. There is two programs that you need to install to get this working. Um, this is the actual Pavre software. What the Pavre is, is basically you uh, write a bunch of code about an image, and then it does some special stuff. And as you can see right there, it says the Persistent of Vision Ray Tracer is a high-quality free software tool for creating stunning three-dimensional graphics. Source code is available to those waiting to do their own ports. Um, you're also going to need to download this. This is the actual um, rendering software itself. LDD to Pavre, what it is, it's just a conversion tool. It just takes the LXF file, uh, the LEGO Unlimited file, and then takes that and converts it into a Pavre file, and then this program itself, which is called Pavre, converts that into what you actually see, the actual image itself. So you're going to want to download this as well. You're going to come up there to the uh, hyperlinks at the top, hit download, down kind of where it says Windows Binary, you're going to click on Download Windows Installer like I'm showing here. Once you click on that, you're going to download that. Both of those need to download. All right, so when both of those download, you're going to have um, two icons in your desktop. This is the first one, and this is the second one. The first one that you're going to want to do is LDD to Pavre Converter. You're going to click on that, and you're going to open up the LDD to Pavre Converter file, the actual uh, application, I should say. All right, so this is the home screen for the application. 
Uh, you have all sorts of different settings here, scene, camera, lights, radiosity, colors, materials, decorations, outlines, rendering. You have all those things. I ignore every single one of those besides this first page here. What you're, wanting going, what you're going to want to do is come up here to where it says LXF file name underneath input file, and you're going to want to hit browse. So when I click on browse, it's going to open up whatever um, path that I have. You're going to find an LXF model that you want to uh, download and convert. Uh, for me, it's going to be the F and Herschel Scar Lite, which I've already converted, but for the sake of doing this video, I'm going to do it again. So you're going to click on that. And uh, if you do it right, the name is going to show up in the box uh, right underneath it. It's going to say output file, Pavre name, so, 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 and so. Uh, basically, you can change where it outputs, but I always leave it in the same folder. Um, so, for example, I got this LXF file out of the downloads folder on my uh, desktop. It's going to output right back into that folder. You can change it to whatever you want, but I just leave it the same thing. Um, now then, you're closer to getting this done. You have the file selected. Uh, the first uh, point that I want to make is that if you don't have like a really beefy gaming computer, the slider is going to be your best friend. Um, Basically, if you're to turn this slider all the way up, you're going to get a really, really detailed, hyper-realistic model. Uh, it's going to take hours to render, and you're going to be sitting there staring at it, and it's going to bore you to death. However, if you have kind of like a laid-back computer like I do, you can drag the slider all the way to the left, and on the lowest setting, you're still going to get a really good image, but it's not going to take as long, and that's usually what I do. Um, some things to avoid here is that Translucent pieces are a pain when it comes to LDD to Pavre. Uh, they take a lot longer, so if you can avoid them, please do, because they do take much longer. They are a pain, like I'm saying. Um, and uh, once you select the level of detail and the file that you want, and uh, you can experiment with these other things, but I don't really do that. You can come down here and you can click on Convert. And what this is going to do is it's going to take your LXF file and it's going to convert it into um, a Pavre file. So this is what it is. Uh, here's what it does. A converted model successfully saved to you and then it's going to show you the location and it's going to end with .pav. That's the Pavre file that actually opens and renders in Pavre. Um, so when you click on OK, you see this little dialog box. This dialog box is asking if you want to automatically open what you just converted in Pavre, the application itself. So if you click no, it's not going to do it. I highly recommend that you already just click yes. Uh, when you click yes, it's going to start opening up Pavre. This is Pavre itself. It looks really complicated, and your computer is going to start looking like it's hacking into NASA with all these little codes and shit that's going on the screen. Um, Basically what this is, it's reading every individual part that uh, it has, and it's going to start adding bevel levels and uh, all this other stuff that you're seeing going on here. Uh, this is all normal. Um, if there is an error going on, you will get an error message. Uh, there are certain models that I've tried to convert, uh, well, that I've converted successfully, but when I opened them in Pavre, they did not uh, work. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, it's just it's certain models it doesn't, certain models it does. Um, but this is going to go on for a little bit. It's basically taking a look at every exposed part um, and then telling the computer what it's going to look like. Um, just a little information about this. If you want to stop this render, you can press stop. If you want to pause it just so that you can go do something else, hit pause. Uh, I have no idea what tray is or anything like that. Let me uh, back it up a little bit. Back down here in the bottom right-hand corner is going to be a time limit or how long this is taking. And then up here, it's going to show like a progress bar and what exactly is going on. All right, so once it's done encoding every single part that the uh, screen shows, it's going to pull up a, a kind of like a preview of the model itself, which is what this is right here. So it's going to go bars down the screen like you're seeing here. And then it's going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it's going to keep rendering. Um, so it's going to start off all like pixely and you're going to be worried because you don't think it's doing what it needs to do and then it's going to go through and slowly refine it over and over again until you get a completed model that you're seeing here. This is the message telling you that the file has been successfully rendered. It's going to tell you where that file is and then you're just going to click OK. 
We're going to close out of every single tab. Uh, all of these are virus pages. Uh, I can't uninstall Windows Explorer, which fucking sucks, because I need to get rid of that. Um, because those viruses suck. You're going to close out of Pavre. You're going to go ahead and open up your files, wherever that LXF file came from, and there's your screenshot right there. Uh, I always put mine on the uh, desktop, which you can see right there. And then that's pretty much how you use uh, LDD to Pavre and Pavre itself to open up all the files and so on and so forth. Um, a little bit of extra image or uh, information. When you go and you save the LXF file, let me just uh, get rid of that. Let me open up one here real quick and I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay, so you have your LXF file. Um, obviously this model is saved. Whenever you save the model, that is the viewpoint that Pavray is going to um, render the model from. So basically how you can figure out the viewpoint is that you find a specific viewpoint that you want and then save the model or you just save the model open it up and then whatever you're looking at is the viewpoint so as of right now when this renders in LDD to Pavre this is the exact image that you were going to get out of it um, if you move the camera like this and you expect it to render like this you're mistaken you have to save it so I'd have to take a piece, move it like just a little bit, and then hit save again, and then it will render from this angle. Um, and then obviously you can move that piece back, save it uh, from this angle, and then get the same result. That's just a little forewarning um, and th different things like that. And that's pretty much how you use LED to Pavre. I'm glad I could help you guys, and uh, definitely you Wolfpack Bricks. Hopefully this works out for you and you get some awesome looking images and uh, everything that you need. That's pretty much it for this video, so see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. See ya.